Good evening. <coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the inaugural meeting for Jutland 2018. I'll just give Councillor Alec a moment. We know the snow is deep. I'd like a motion to uh, adopt the agenda as it has been presented. I do not. In favor? Opposed. It's carried. Thank you. I've been thinking rather sporadically about what I was going to say tonight as my parting parting. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm not going to say very much. And I think that'll make most of you quite happy. However, I will say a little bit. I will say that um, I've had a wonderful seven years in this chair, and uh, quite frankly, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to miss it. I'm also, more than the chair, I'm going to miss the staff that I got to see here almost every day, and the members of council. I hope you don't leave Chetland just because I'm leaving this chair, because It'd be good to see you from time to time. Chetland has had a, a great council this past seven years, and when I say that, I'm not saying anything about previous councils or future councils, just that it's been great working with this council. Every member has respected every other member, and, you know, that's, that's a key to allowing the staff to get the work done that we want them to do. You know when you have a council that is erratic and undisciplined, the first people to feel that are right here in this building, full-time workers. And they really do have difficulty accomplishing the work that they were hired to do when council is behaving in a way that is uh, unprofessional. So I'm not expecting anything to change in that respect. I'm simply saying that we've had a wonderful council these past seven years and it's made my life, well, very enjoyable. It's been a pleasure to come here every week. I've never, ha I've never lost sleep over anything that we've done. I have lost sleep over things that other people have done, <laughs> but nothing over what council has done. It's been good, and I want to thank you. I, we have one outgoing council member here tonight, and uh, Councillor Alec, would you like to take a few moments to offer any words? Uh, no, I just uh, want to thank everybody for the time I've had. And I've enjoyed the staff as well. They're excellent as far as I'm concerned. And, um, I did, coming into work, or coming in this, this afternoon, I did want to send out some something unrelated to that is the, uh, to our uh, road maintenance people in the town. What a terrific job they did for this last snowfall, because I know how difficult it is, as you can imagine. So. Anyway, I wanted to say that. Good job. So, okay. And that's about it. I have had fun. We have, haven't we? Yeah. Yes, we have. At this point, I'm going to invite uh, Councillor-elect Disher and Councillor-elect Wart to come forward and take your respective seats.
Now I'm going to invite Mayor-elect Kutri to come forward and take the seat of the mayor. I would like to thank uh, the outgoing council, councillors, and uh, uh, Mayor Nichols for your contributions to our community. It was a great pleasure uh, having you as mayor, and uh, I am uh, very, very, uh, what's the word? <laughs> All those words. I am very pleasured and honored for uh, taking this chair and I will do my best to uh, make uh, the community a very good one and uh, it is I'm in uh, good hands here with all the councillors that have stayed and I, I, I really appreciate them and uh, we will have this wonderful time here in council and I see an ex-mayor and I see a firefighter out there and I see uh, community members out there here for uh, the inauguration, which is uh, great. So <clears throat> with that, uh, where's my, uh, Carol? I, Alan Coutre, solemnly say it again. Affirm that I am qualified. Okay, we better go through this again here, Carol. I am qualified to hold the office of mayor for the district of Chetwin to which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person knowing, knowingly contra, contravened the local government act respecting vote buying or intimidation in relations to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office and will not allow any private interest to influence my conduct in public matters. As required by the community charter, I will disclose any direct or indirect Peculiar needs, interest, and I have in a matter, in a matter, and will not participate in the discussions of the matter that will not vote in respect of the matter. Right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you do okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna get you to be my photographer. Okay. Which one do you do to take care of? Yeah. Thank you very much.
Uh, and Janet Work. Do solemnly affirm that. All at the same time? Yes. Okay, sorry, Carol. Okay. I'm qualified to hold the, the office, office for the district to which I've been elected. I have not, not by myself, myself or any other person knowingly contravening the local government act respecting vote buying or intimidation in relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office and will not allow any private interest to influence my conduct in public matters. As, As required by the community charter, charter I will disclose any direct or indirect interest, interest I have in a matter and will participate in the discussion of the matter and will not vote in the respect of the matter. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Are we good now? Oh. So I need a mover for a deputy mayor. Pardon? Do we, can I uh, make motion that we uh, wait till after we're done here and then can I make my inaugural speech after? Let's make a little change to our uh, agenda. We will just, I, I will, uh, and we'll do this speech after thing. Thank you for that. <clears throat> so let's carry on with business. So I'll make that recommendation that the following council members be appointed to deputy mayor for the designated period below, as stated on the form. Second. Michelle. All those in favor? Okay, we need a mover for the appointment of our, uh, that would be, for the report by the administrator. So that would be uh, well, number seven there. Item seven, I yes. would make that motion that council members be formally appointed to committees, boards, and commissions as outlined on attachment A to this report for the remainder of 2018 and for 2019. I have a question about that. I just, uh, just one thing, um, I'm, I'm not sure how we want to do this, but um, the seniors, I sit on the board for the seniors, which I'm quite not seeing here actually. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Senior Housing Society. I'm not quite sure what that is. But anyways, um, I know Janet is a member of the seniors, um, so I'm just wondering if there's a point of both of us being there. Like if Janet can be the liaison now for the seniors. Exactly. There's no point of both of us being probably at that meeting if you're going to be there anyhow, right? I will be there. I can I can take that role and 
place of you. So, so is that we're going to make the change, or uh, should we make a motion to that effect? They would need to make a motion to that effect, but the Chetland Seniors Housing Society is not. So what is what you're thinking? It's it, not the same. No. It's oh. the Pine Valley Seniors Association. Okay. But that, is that on here, or am I missing it? Um, I don't. I don't see it on. I here. don't see it on here. Oh, okay. So this is a new. This is the one over at Serrera's place. Oh, I the, see. Okay. The Seniors Housing Society. That's Perfect. the one. That's okay, and I'm good with being on that one. It's just the Seniors one. I guess is not on this list. Okay, so we'll withdraw the. Yeah. So for, it, for a motion. We, Carol? Um, should we add that one, the seniors? I think it should be added, yes. And should we make an amending motion? Okay. I would, would make that amending motion that we add the Pine Valley seniors and um, add councillor work to that. Yeah. Second. It, that's okay with uh, council work? Yes. Okay. Okay. Did I miss one here with uh, number six or Carol? No. No, we're good? No, we got that. Okay. I, did, I did have one more question on the appointment okay. of ca uh, committees. Um, and this has just been in the past, and, and you know, it's fine if you want to do it however you do it. The, the Northern Health Committee consisted of all of the council, mayor and all council, in the past. And I, and I think I felt that that worked really well because when we go, we, we go and we present as a whole council. And it seems to be a big job most times, and that's my opinion. So I wouldn't have a problem with all of us being on that. This, no. I, I'd like to know what everybody else feels. The Northern Health? Yes. Yeah, I agree. I think that should be a whole council. <coughs> but, this, but this one here is just the liaison, though. In the past, there has only been just one liaison. Um, For Northern Health? Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, well, I'm totally confused. There, there always know. has been a liaison. Like if Northern Health wants to contact somebody on council, they contact one person. It has been Councillor Fanner. So oh, I see. I think that uh, Councillor Work is, I think it's still good the way that it's pointed right here because it is under liaison appointments. Okay. But why did we all attend then? That was, uh, we had a committee, a Northern Health Committee, but that got dismissed when we went to just a committee of the whole, which we all sit on. So okay. anything that comes right. up, okay. Northern Health, I get really you know. will Sorry. be under committee yeah. of the whole. Okay, my apologies. It's all good. Okay. Clear. Okay. <clears throat> so did we vote on that motion prior to that one, uh, the discussion? So we should vote on that prior to your... Uh, it was voted. Point? It was voted first. The amendment was. Yeah. The amendment was. Yeah. So she's on, she's good with that. Okay. Okay. We, we still have to vote on the original motion, don't we? Yeah, because I thought we... Uh, we voted on the amendment. The amendment. I mean, now, right now. Okay. Vote for the... Okay. All in favor? All in favor? <laughs> Carry. Okay, we need a, a mover for the appointment of the auditor. For a, from the administrator's report. I'll make that motion that the chartered accounting <clears throat> firm of Sander, Rose, Bone, Brindle, LLP be appointed as auditor for the dis District of Chetwin for 2019. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Carry. Okay, we need another uh, for the Civic Properties Mover for the Civic Properties Commission appointment. I'll make that recommendation that Council authorize the following Council representatives to be appointed to the Civic Properties Commission for the remainder of 2018 and all of 2019. Mayor Coutre, Councillors Galbraith and Work. I'll second that. All those, any discussion on? All those in favor? Carry. <clears throat> uh, I need some uh, talking water. OK, 
Okay, uh, I move this to the end so that uh, when I make adjournment, we'll have everything fulfilled that we came for the meeting. And this is quite important to me, that's why I left it for the end, because uh, the thanks that I give today is my pleasure that I give thanks to the people that helped me, the community, and that. So I, I thank the outgoing council and the mayor for their contributions to our uh, community and to individual lives in Cheltenham. I would like to thank them for that and uh, applaud them one more time. It is with great humility that I, Alan Coutre, accept the position of Mayor of Chetwin. Who would have thought, I never, I never thought that anything like this would happen to a small town boy uh, named Alan Coutre. We are here today making history. This history as to the first Indigenous Mayor of a local town community. So we are all in, in this together as a community, Chetwin. Chetwin is one of the first to do this, and I thank you for that. Tanse, and how are you? Uh, we, are, we are here today uh, for, for, for the community that I live in, that I care for, that I accept as my home. Uh, I would like to thank Mike Podlecki for uh, spearheading my campaign and being such a great friend. And I would like to thank my wife for being with me for all the years and putting up with such a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she knows what I mean. And I would like to uh, thank my daughter, Stephanie, my son, Ben, and my son, Lionel. for being my biggest supporters. A little bit of a history of uh, your new mayor. I was born in uh, High Prairie, Alberta, uh, to Archie and Helen Coutre. And we moved from Faust. Uh, my dad retired from uh, the railroad. and. Uh, we moved over here so my brothers could uh, work in an industry, uh, the sawmilling industry. That's why we worked, why we moved to Chetwin so that they could get work. And uh, so that, that was our move here to Chetwin. I lived over uh, at Gruen's, if anybody knows a little bit about history. There were some uh, homes over there or shacks or whatever you want to call them. But anyway, that's where we uh, first uh, moved to. And I. Uh, we moved there for a year and I moved to the, close to the school there um, with mom and dad and that's where uh, I lived until I was a teenager. And uh, one day my dad didn't know that I was uh, removed from school. I, I used the kick thing but uh, anyway, we moved from school. And uh, I, uh, I was laying there and he looked at me and he said, Al, either you go to school or go to work. And I went to work, and uh, I've been at the sawmill, uh, the Canfor sawmill, for 41 years, and uh, it was a great pleasure working for Canfor. I don't say anything bad about uh, the company that uh, provided me with the house, with a home, with a family, and a great place to live. And I was 15 minutes from uh, from work if I chose to walk, and if I jumped in my car, it was two minutes. Uh, until they put a stop, stop uh, light in, then it was uh, two minutes and 10 seconds. So uh, th this town means a lot to me. And uh, I did get my GED, if you guys are asking. And uh, at, at the mill, I got my uh, trade as a saw filer. And uh, I did that for 30 years of my life uh, at that sawmill. And I uh, do believe that uh, when you do get an education. It is the best part of your life that you need to uh, think about because you're always learning. Doesn't matter where you are in in any place. When you do learn something, it's the best part.
part of your life because your brain is functioning in a way that uh, just going through life. And this is where I'm sitting at a spot where I'm going to learn to the best of my ability. And if I don't know, I will ask. And if that person doesn't know, we will continue to ask. Once we find out that this is the right person, then we will get the job done. And as for uh, council and former mayors, I uh, would like to thank you and I hope you, I can ask you any question that pertains to making us a good community and a better community. I guess we're a good community already. So let's make it a better community so that we could all work together and improve our quality of life here in Chatwin. With that, I would like to uh, say thank you, Chatwin, for electing me as your next mayor. Thank you very much. I would like uh, a mover for the adjournment of the meeting, November 5th, 2000, <laughs> November 5th, 2018, historic day in Cheltenham. Thank you very much. I, I need a seconder. And that all those in favor? <laughs> we are adjourned. There will be a reception. And there's stuff in the back there. Carol? Yes. Look at the end. Yep. There's stuff there. And uh, if anybody, uh, there's another room with uh, refreshments. So it's just here. So I would like to thank you for that. Uh, so enjoy the food and enjoy your new mayor. at that point that I guess he talked his older brother into making the trek back across Canada. I'm amazed by the pictures. It, it just gives you a sort of a nice feeling looking yeah. at it.